So when we talk about uh, equity and health equity and disparities, I think um, there's a large circle of uh, people that we need to include in thinking about uh, the inequities that exist. Um, you know, there are a number of different ways uh, that we are working on this. I, uh, we're uh, really working on fostering an organizational culture that embraces diversity, equity, inclusion, so that we can strengthen our community, so that we ourselves reflect the communities that we serve. I think it's really important when we think about how we do that to make sure that we approach it with humility. Um, the honest truth is that the healthcare system in the United States has not traditionally done well at addressing issues of, uh, of inequities in health. Uh, and um, as we think about doing better, it would behoove all of us, certainly the leaders in the healthcare system, not just to go out and assume that we know what the right things are to do, but to ask and to listen to those people that are experiencing those inequities. And we're attempting to do exactly that. Now, how we're different is that about a third of our financing goes toward what we call sustainable financing. That's everything from solar to geothermal, uh, you name it, but it's related to um, uh, correcting the, the problems of climate change, addressing those in a meaningful way. Um, almost all of our financing is what we call mission-based. And that's everything from the work we do around affordable housing. Uh, we work very closely with CDFIs. Um, this is work that we do supporting um, a lot of commercial clients who are in, as I said, these sort of change-making fields. There is a difference between feeling comfortable in a space and truly feeling like you belong, right? As a Chinese American woman who has gone through some of that, yeah. um, it is it is really a process. Mm -hmm. um, what we do is that we we um, we do a lot of studying of about diversity and inclusion, and we really put our roots down um, upon the work of, of of a scholar. Her name is. Tara Yasso, and she's based in, Dr. Yasso is based in UC Riverside in California. Mm -hmm. And she says, and her work is mostly based on the Chicano culture because of where she is, but it applies that um, every student that comes to us carry um, certain assets that they've built up over time, whether you're immigrant, refugee, native born, indigenous, black, white, Latinx, you carry with you the culture of your past. I'm really sort of you know, values and principles driven person. Like I, I remember my mom telling me, I think it was right before I started college or maybe after my first year of college, she pulled my brother and I aside and said, you know, you both seem like pretty smart kids. Uh, I'm sure you could do something productive, but make sure you do something that where you use your your heart as much as your brain and, and, and make an impact, do something good. And it, it really stuck with both my brother and I, um, my brother's now our superior court judge here in Massachusetts. And um, and I, I always like this notion of being able to enjoy personal success, commercial success, while helping people and helping society. People would question, uh, you know, headquarters in Maine is, is that a, a place where you can continue to grow? Our culture is really rooted in the values of Maine and, it, uh, and it's really been an important part of the growth story of the company. If I talk to our customer, that, you know, they talk a lot about um, the relationship they have with the people that work at Wax, which really ties into the culture of how do we treat the employee, how that employee treats the customer. So, you know, it's a great circle um, that we've built over time. And I think that really comes to our, our main roots. Now we are you know, a global company. And so we have about 1200 employees in Maine. Have, you know, talking about the 6,500 um, that we have and growing globally. And so we have employees literally, you know, all over uh, the world and our ability to attract, I would say is only gone up over time. It 